Welcome to Logan. Today I'll be doing a um, spoiler-free spoiler -free review of Wonder Woman 1984, which came out yesterday on Christmas to everyone, to casual people, just like me. Adventure action movie, and basically um, it's available on HBO Max in the US, and I think in Canada it's like Crave TV or something, but you can watch it on like Google or like Apple TV, which you rent for like $30, which is basically or Amazon Prime Video, also like that, and yeah, it's a in the 2020. It's, I guess it's come to this. It's mostly like renting the movies, or going on, or not paying for them and using other resources, just like what I did. Because I'm not, I don't think, I guess, yeah, not really as nice as movie theater. And thirty dollars is like double the price in Canada. It's in Canada, Canadian dollars. So yeah, let's get right into it. So. Wonder Woman 1984 takes place in 1984, though I guess parts of it takes place when, in like I guess flashback scenes and whatnot, but that's partly any of it. Um, yeah, it goes through um, Wonder Woman's next adventure after the first movie, and I'll uh, spoil the first movie of course, because it came out like three years ago, so pretty sure everyone has already watched it. So yeah, the first movie goes through like World War One and all that, and now past World War Two, it's like kind of like the Cold War era. In USA and see Diana Prince just doing her day job and then stuff happens so in terms of the plot like it's 2 hours 35 like I guess comparing to the first one 2 hours 29 it's around the same length basically it's considerably a long movie but I guess for superhero action movies it's not as long these days um yeah there's some action in it but of course it's, I don't think there's nearly as much action as the last movie where it's like lost so much more action because it's like World War One and all that kind of stuff. This one's more like, I guess, it's I guess meant to be a bit more emotional. It's meant to be a bit more going through some other characters as well, not just following Diana like 24-7. Um, yeah. I guess part of what made the first movie like, I guess, one of its... The first movie, I, I admit... Okay, so the first movie was like really good. For me, it's like... 9 out of 10, it's really good, except I guess the one of its main downfalls is like the villain and the climax, and like Ares was kind of like, seemed a bit underpowered, seemed a bit weird how he's like an old man and all that in the last movie, and then, but I guess it was a kind of cool reveal, reveal for me, like he was with him the whole time, but in this movie the, I guess it's, the villains are, I guess, don't really want to spoil it, but of course, if you already watch the trailers, then you already know like one of the villains at least. Or I guess I'm spoiling just more than one villain, but there's always more than one villain in like every movie. But I'm not a big fan of how they how they did like the villains, because it's not as good. I'd say it's like around the level of the first one, or maybe a bit less. Like the ending is not as satisfying, I guess. So I'm saying, but I guess there's like positive messages. It is a Christmas movie because it ends around Christmas time, I guess, but not really that much Christmas themes. There's a lot of color, not really, but you can see like the promotional material. There's like rainbows and everything behind Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman, but the movie, it's not really too much color. I don't know. I guess they're just promoting like the 1980s theme throughout like, throughout like, um, the, like its setting and all that. Like they really emphasize 1984 a lot and like stereotypical like um, hobbies, trends, and all that stuff, and yeah, I'm not sure, too sure how to do a review without spoiling it, but I guess I'll continue and say that, yeah, it's pretty obvious from the trailers and promotion material, Steve Trevor returns, Chris Pine returns, and I guess the plot is centered around like one thing, kind of, or most of it, and it didn't seem that good to me, not super interesting. Um, the fight scenes were alright, I guess. The CGI, there was some CGI, of course, and I think it was all right, not the best, but not the complete worst, but it's not just mediocre CGI, even though his budget's really high. Um, okay, what else? I guess the acting, the acting was fine, but I guess, like, so, as some people would say it's like kind of campy, it's like a bit like sometimes some themes were like a bit over exaggerated, a bit maybe. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty 
is it inspirational? Um, kind of, I guess. Like, what Diana goes through is a bit inspirational, but kind of doesn't feel as much as the first movie as you feel in the first movie. Like, I don't know. It just, it's just, I don't know. It just seems like an action movie to watch, but at the end, it's like, um, it's all right. Like, like I'll give it like around a six out of ten, maybe seven out of ten on a good day. Just like most of these ratings, like. Look at the first one, it's like 93 on Rotten Tomatoes, 7.4 IMDb. So it's much lower on this one. 77% users like the film on Google and 88. So yeah, it doesn't really live up to the first one. It's kind of like the stereotypical sequel movies to like super awesome initial like standalone. That I mean, like the first film, like I don't feel it's as good. Um, yeah. I don't know, it just it was really over underwhelmed because like after the first Wonder Woman with like Gal Gadot, P Patty Jenkins, I thought it would be a bit better, but, or at least just as good, but I was pretty underwhelmed by everything, the plot. Like, I would rather it focus on some specific other elements, which I'll cover in the spoiler review, but I felt like some plots, it might have focused on like some parts that were not as important or like it could have been cut out to make like the main stuff like Wonder Woman better and yeah I'm excited for the next Justice League I don't know is DC back on the map eh, kind of because I guess everyone like watched this movie but hopefully there'll be a trilogy and there'll be a sequel to this which will be like really good but I have no idea how the next one's gonna be like especially past 2020 so, yeah I guess overall just I guess nothing else to do these days so might as well just watch it. It's not right movie in 2020. Yeah, um, a spoiler review um, in the comments. Uh, I think I have a link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.